Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. As many of you may or may not know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So today we have a very special episode bringing to you one of our local favorites, Oat Soda, and what they are doing to help support breast cancer awareness and supporting those families who have been or are affected with breast cancer in and around Oakland County. They've partnered with A Mother's Wish, and without further ado, we're going to get co-owner and my friend of Oat Soda, Jason Peltier, on to join us. Hey, Jason. Hello, Tracy. How are you today on this? Um, wonderful yourself. I am doing well on this sunny Tuesday. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very sunny. Yes, yes, yes. So I just let our, our audience know that, you know, for those who may or may not know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. And um, Oat Soda is one of our local favorites participating to help support the cause. Um, you've partnered with A Mother's Wish, and um, you're doing some great things to help support families who currently are or have been um, affected by breast cancer in and around Oakland County. That, so. That's it in a nutshell. Yes, we yeah. um, we partnered with the Mother's Wish this, uh, this whole month, the whole entire month. We okay. kicked it off um, the first week with uh, Pinky. I don't know if yeah. everyone saw Pinky, the giant yes. inflatable pink elephant. I saw Pinky. <laughs> uh, he's always fun when he arrives and um, it's, it's a good time. It signifies some really good beer being tapped for one, but yeah. also they partner, um, they do a beer every year. Women brewers from around the world go to Belgium to brew a beer. Really? Uh, it's uh, Pink Boot Society uh, sponsored, but um, it's called Deliria, which they have these cool little bottles here. Oh, we cool. did have it on tap, but they donate money from every bottle draft can sold to the make sure I get it right National Breast Cancer Foundation. That's so they're that's their part in the fight awesome. uh, to help um, with breast cancer awareness. And so we it was a natural fit for us to kick oh, off cool. the month with them. Uh, they are matching our donations for okay. definitely the first day that they were here. The rep has to get back to me. He's looking to see if um, his bosses will approve a month long match. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they I'm will. Sure they we're very will confident well. that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but so we're, we're having them on tap as long as you know, we're down. We started with four taps of delirium, different delirium beers. We're down to two because they're that good. But deliria is no longer on tap, but we do okay. have bottles for sale and retail. Okay. Um, but yeah, back to Mother's Wish, though. Um, what we loved about it is it's local. Mm hmm it's keeping money extremely hyper loyal, Oakland County only. And, and it's run by a group of volunteers um, that 100% of the donations go right back out to helping people. That's and, and that's amazing. And it's, it's, it's not funding research. It's not, you know, fi finding the cure. Right. It, it, it's the other need that seems to be forgotten you know, when families, women and families are going through the struggle of after diagnosis of breast cancer, mm -hmm. where do you go? What do you do? What do I need? You know, right. and so not only do they have to fight the disease, they still have to live their lives. They still need things. And so I think a mother's wish kind of comes in and, and helps that need, gives them the, the help to uh, so they can focus on the diagnosis and, and get the things that they need in their life, whether it be bandages a family a, a family trip to go you know up north or yep. you know the, the laundry list is huge but yeah just the emotional and physical journey while dealing with the diagnosis and and the cancer itself um they're there to help and we definitely appreciate that mission that is so great and i love how it all like you said it's hyper focused so you know, anything that you're doing, um, anything that a mother's wish, you know, all the fundraisers, the partnering that you're doing, you are directly impacting a family um, in need. And um, it may seem small, you know, bandages, you know, or something as much as a, a much needed getaway. Um, 
we all know like how much our mental and physical health are intertwined and sometimes just being able to get away from the diagnosis and just spend that quality time with family, friends, um, you know, can make such a huge difference as well. Oh, for sure. For sure. So, so. We're, we're, we're happy to help in any way we can. And um, like I say, the, the tappings of delirium is one way. Yep. If you come into oat soda, we have what I call the pink bucket. Okay. Um, it's at the host stand. Um, you can slip extra change in the pink bucket, you know. Okay. Every little bit will help. Yes. Um, and you're doing the shirts, cute, right? The shirts. Little four, all the shirts. Yep. You picked yours up the other day. I did. I, I have mine on you today. Have yours. They come in gray and black, and it's a special pink um, with the ribbon oat soda uh, logo. Very cool. Yep. yep. $10 so. for every shirt will go right into the pink bucket. We also have, I'm just going to, I guess, turn here. Tons of rosé wines. Ooh, look at that assortment. So these are just a sample, but not only in behind the bar while you're here dining, um, retail, come in, buy a bottle of rosé. Um, and rosés are not the sweet pink, you know, white Zinfandel type wine. You know, okay. they're, they're, oh, they're just amazing. And they're all so unique and depends on the grape and the region where they come from. But I got some great ones from California, from France. So if somebody um, wants to come and support the cause and pick up a bottle for just an evening at home, or maybe they're having uh, friends over, you can help recommend the right one for their palate. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, I am enjoying also uh, another pink beverage, which we have a pink uh, Pixie Mix Pink Lemonade Seltzer Ooh, from Untitled good. Art, which is on tap as well. I so think I needed to be more... at the restaurant to do this live because... <laughs> One day, yeah, well, yeah. like I say, we'll do beers with Jason. Again. Yes, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, there's, there's many ways to help. Um, if anyone out there knows anyone that does need assistance, a mother's wish is there for you. A mother's wish, a mother's wish, Michigan.com, and all the information there to, uh, you know, get help, to get in touch with them. Uh, definitely okay. please do. They're there to help. They're eager. You know, we've been talking to the several people on the board and affiliated with it that have been here in the last few weeks. You know, we mentioned some stories of some people we know going through and they immediately, oh, how can we help? And, yeah. you know, they're, they're fine, but they're, they're so eager and, and they love to reach out and help people. So That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, we yeah. definitely are a community that comes together and, um, it's 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 nice to know that that support is out there. So like Jason mm -hmm. said, if you're somebody who needs support, please reach out. Or if you're somebody who just wants to help support, um, there's a, a number of ways that you can do so. Um, but we're we're still like we have a lot of October left. So a lot of October. We're oh, also on yeah. the 30th of October. We're going to do that final push. We have a couple, uh, we're going to put together a couple uh, gift baskets. Okay. And the, which will also include limited edition uh, oh. pink oat soda hats. There's only Fun. two in existence. Wow. So we're gonna, you know, these will be available, you know, so we're trying to have a little fun, get creative and uh, raise what we can uh, for a mother's wish. All right. Fantastic. So even if you watch uh, college football, Michigan, Michigan State game is on early that day. You can either come up and watch it at Oat Soda or, or stop yep. in after the festivities. <laughs> uh, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And um, definitely has some good food. And yes. of course, it's going to be on all the TVs. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> awesome. But no, yeah. Thank you very much. You know, when I reach out to you to, you know, get the word out on this, I appreciate it. So. Absolutely. Well, you know what, you and Danny and Jen and Oat Soda, you guys do a lot for the community um, and you're always there to support. I was just talking to somebody the other day, you know, and and let them know, you know, if you're riding your bike or, you know, walking through town and you need to stop and use the restroom, need a glass of water, like stop in at Oat Soda. Their doors are open. Um, you know, if, yeah. yep. Oh, we're, we're, if, if we're open, you know, feel free to come and use the restroom, say hi, you know, get a yep. glass of water. 
you know, just uh, all we asked was a high and a high five. Yes. You know? Should yeah. you want to stay for a beverage? That's great too. <laughs> it's always a great welcoming environment. I know I love, I love coming to Oat Soda. And um, so if you can stop in this month to support a mother's wish, um, please do so. Again, there's so many ways, even if you're not looking to dine or drink out, you can always stop in the shop, pick up a t-shirt, pick up a bottle to go. Um, and then also, you know, if, I think this next one is uh, is sold out, but you you do um, some pairing dinners, which I am quite fond of personally. Um, yeah. I know there's one next week, a wine pairing dinner. Um, your chef is amazing and puts together some of the most fantastic five star meals. I mean, it is incredible. So. Yes. Again, you said a no. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, October 27th is our next one. It is sold out, which yeah. is, int- it's crazy. Like it sells out before we even have a chance to put the menu up right, to, right, right. to let people know, Hey, we're doing this dinner and sorry, it's all already sold out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it is a lot of, you know, the former attendees, you know, such as yourself that mm-hmm. realize the experience that's coming. Yes. And yes. Chef Justin has in his team creating amazing meals that you would never expect to come out of this cool little craft beer cocktail wine yes. bar in, in, in uh, Lake Orion. So yes, it's uh, he's rocking it. This one amazing. The twenty seventh. Um, I guess we don't have to sell tickets, but to give you a little heads up, so you you know and people maybe get excited for the next one. But it's a spooky Halloween themed. Um, you know, blood pasta or, you know, uh, spooky charcuterie board, oh. chicken voodoo or voodoo chicken cacciatore. And uh, we're, we're just having so much fun with it. Um, Making me hungry. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will be announcing on that day, though, uh, November 10th will be our next wine dinner. That will be okay. wines of Tuscany, Ooh. Um, which will be phenomenal. We also have dinners coming up in December, December 1st and December 15th. Yes. Um, we do have uh, Odd Side Ales. We'll be going back to a beer dinner. Those are very that, good. Uh, I believe that one will be on the 1st. And then the 15th we're looking at, we have a couple options. We got to see uh, who's available, but that one would be amazing as well. Yes. And then we're putting together a New Year's Eve party. Yeah. For those of us to come and have fun, have a nice dinner out you can get fancy dress so you can come in your casual clothes and we're going to do a nice dinner followed by games and fun and you know so we're gonna have some fun there too so a lot of things happening lots of stuff coming up it sounds fantastic and i'm going to be heading in as we get closer to um the holidays into november and december i'm going to be doing my local business spotlights and so we're going to have you back on i hope jason um and talk oh, a little sure. bit more. We can kind of reiterate some of the events that you have coming up and what's new that's happening at Oat Soda. I'd love to have you uh, have you back on again. Um, that would be my pleasure. Fantastic. And in the we'll, short we'll do term. we another beers with Jason too soon. Oh, so we'll get that, you in here. For, that would be great. That if, yeah. For those of you who haven't seen, for, for my viewers who haven't seen Beers with Jason, um, that is a fantastic live event um, with many, with an assortment of beer um, and I get to sample them all. So I love the, event. <laughs> I get to love the event and give you my perspective on, uh, on the different, uh, different varieties. So oh, that was fun. I, I think yeah. I threw a lot of new one, a, little, a lot of curveballs at you. Yeah. yeah, It's okay. It's okay. All in good fun. It was great. Nice. So, well, no, I look, I look forward to that and I look forward yep. to, uh, seeing you soon in Otsota. Sounds great. And thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. Again, there's still a lot of time left in October. So if you want to help support a mother's wish and support families within Oakland County that um, have been or are affected by breast cancer, please step into Oat Soda. There are so many ways that you can help and get involved as well. So thank you so much, Jason, for all that you do. Thanks for coming on and joining us today. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Tea with Tracy. Thank you very much. Cheers, Tracy. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.